Hello, everybody. I hope that you will find this presentation very interesting. Uh, I have so many things to cover, so let me jump straight into my slide. Uh, this starts concerning. So in this presentation, we are going to build our first Laravel application. But first, we are going to learn how a Laravel application is being structured and uh, all the fundamentals that are required. Uh, but first, let me introduce myself. Hello, I am Yanis, and I'm working as a software engineer at MailerLine. In our company, we are building a lot of products, everything based around the Laravel framework. I will show my father of our beautiful children. Sometimes they will consume all my energy, but they will pay back with a lot of love and kisses. So no complaint here. Let's check the outline of this presentation. And it will be divided into major sections. In the first part, it will be a theoretical introduction to Laravel. We will learn how to create our first Laravel application. And then we're going to explore some very fundamental blocks of a Laravel lab. Um, we're going to focus on the, on the most important concepts. Uh, I am assuming that you are a beginner and you don't have some um, important experience with Laravel. So don't worry, we're going to take it um, step by step. Next, in the next section, we are going to build our own application. It would be a very simple lab, a to-do application. And it's a simple lab because I want to focus on the Laravel part and not on the complexity of the application itself. Of course, um, in, the, in this section, we're going to live code. I promise that it will be limited to 20 minutes, approximately. Uh, and then in the next section, we're going to review what will be the next steps uh, in uh, of a bigger Laravel project. So we're, we're going to explore how this project should be implemented if we had more time to build it and more experience. Finally, there will be some in a section, so feel free to ask your questions in the chat. Let's start with um, a short introduction to Laravel, and uh, let's get familiar with uh, this framework. Uh, I will start uh, our journey from um, Laravel Docs, and I wish to create a new Laravel application. Laravel Docs are very well structured, and uh, all you need to Create your first level up is find instructions for your operating system and copy and paste and like this in your terminal. So what this is going to do? Um, let me clear everything. When you run this uh, command, it will uh, download. It will perform two actions. So the first action is that it will download the different. Um, a, bl a blueprint of a Laravel application. Uh, all the files that we need uh, will be cloned from uh, GitHub, Laravel project. And, and where you're going to start building uh, your own logic. But apart from this step, you're also receiving a Docker container image, which will be installed in your computer. And you don't need to understand what a Docker container is. Uh, all you need to know is that uh, this Docker image, which we are calling Sail, uh, this is a brand name for Laravel Docker image. This is a, like a virtual machine which runs Ubuntu. And inside this virtual machine, all the tools that you need will be installed and configured. So you receive PHP, MySQL, and some other tools that you will probably need um, while building your application. The benefit of this approach is that you don't have to install anything locally in your host operating system. Everything is contained inside this container and uh, isolated from your uh, own computer. Doesn't matter if you're on Windows, Mac, or even some version of Linux. Now, um, let's continue with uh, docs. <coughs> when everything has been completed, uh, you need to start the container. And the container interact with the container through the sale command. Let me do this one myself. I will break this operation. And I will send it into an existing project that I have already inside. And um, because it will take some time. So now 
we need to start the containers. I run this command, and with say we're going to direct with the container. We're going to run to execute commands inside the container. So when we have completed this step, uh, we have a web server running, and we can even visit and see how our application is working. Let's do it. If I visit localhost, I will see something like this. This is the welcome page of the default Laravel app. Um, so this is the first step that is required to start writing some Laravel application, but I want to move on some second extra step. And this is adding a starter kit. A starter kit, again, you just need to copy and paste uh, some commands in your terminal. And uh, what, what is this starter kit doing? This will uh, add some default functionality that allows you to log in as a user, register, um, change your password, etc. 